This is a big new idea, so I'm going to introduce it to you by defining it because you can't really understand, you can't work with these things unless you know what they are. So logarithms, dot dot dot, are a way of looking differently at exponentials or indices. Okay, now this does not answer the question for us. This is a very vague sort of definition. Um, but hopefully, it will. if I give you an example attached to this, it will show you exactly what I mean. So it's about looking differently at something you're already familiar with. Exponentials, indices, powers, these are things you've been dealing with since year seven. As an example, two to the power of five. Don't tell me the answer. Tell me what that means. This is an abbreviation for a particular kind of operation. What is it an abbreviation of? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, right? If you do it that number of 5 times, what do you get? Think. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, okay? So that's 32. So what you're doing with an exponential like this, that's called the exponent or the index or the power, all different words for the same object. What you're doing is you're looking at something and you're saying, oh, it's like a thing that's doubling in size, right? 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, and so on. And it's growing and growing and growing. So it's kind of like, this is like a growth rate. It's like a growth rate, if you like. The 5 is sort of like, well, how, how many times did you do that doubling thing? How, many, how much amount of time did you grow for? So this is kind of like a time. If 2, doubling, is your growth rate, and 5 is how long you were doing that for, what's the meaning of 32? The result. The final result. If you were growing and growing and growing, right, then uh, you'll end up 32 times bigger than what you were when you started. Um, if you were doubling and you did it for five years or five minutes or whatever it was. Okay? Now, before we move on to what this log thing is, I want you to see how this analogy of time and growing helps us. You know the index law for this. You know the index law for this. 2 to the power of 0, anything to the power of 0 is... Now think about what that means. What that means is your growth rate is doubling. Not a rhetorical question. How long, how much time did you grow for? Look, look, look. You haven't grown at all. So therefore, what's the result? The answer is one, 100%. You're the same size that you were when you started, right? Think again. You've got another index law that you know of. What does that mean when you've got negative power? That's a half, isn't it? Okay, now think, think about what this means with this analogy, this metaphor, right? Your growing rate was doubling. How long into the future did you go? How long did you wait? Well, this means instead of going forward in time or not going anywhere in time, you've gone backwards in time, which means how big are you? Well, you're half the size because you're in a growing machine. You're in a doubling machine. Does this make sense to you? Okay. All right. So here, I'm going to take this analogy and now I'm going to write each one of these. Instead of writing it in exponential form, I'm going to write them as logarithms. And I'm going to ask you to help me work out what they mean. Instead of writing logarithm, we just write log because it's shorter. Then I would write this. Let me read this out for you and explain what it means. The way I would read this, that 2 is a, a subscript, it's a little 2, is I would say log base 2, it's a base, it's down at the bottom, of 32 equals 5. That's the way I read this mathematical sentence. Log base 2 of 32 
equals 5. Okay. Uh, I'm going to write down this one as well. Uh, log base 2 of 1 is 0. Log base 2 of a half is negative 1. Okay. So what is this thing? Uh, we've changed perspective. We've looked at it differently. I've just kind of taken the same numbers, 2, 5, and 32, and I've just kind of shuffled them around a little bit. Okay. Remind me again. What was this 2? It, it's your growth rate. It's, it's how fast you're going. What was the 32? It's, it's where you end up. It's how big you end up being. So therefore, what this equation tells you is, if this is how fast you're growing and this is how big you end up, how long were you doing it for? What was the time? Does that make sense? Let me say that again because it's such an important idea. If you know how fast you're growing and you know how big you end up, can you tell me how long did that take? If you're doubling and you end up the original size that you were, how long were you growing for? Answer? You didn't grow at all, right? There was no time, no passage of time. You're that big right now. If you're growing at this rate, you're still doubling. When was I half the size that I am now? And the answer is, um, in the past, a negative number, right? I go backwards in time. So think about it this way. I'll give you another example. Let's change the base this time. If I say log base 3, log base 3, of say 81. I'm not in a doubling machine anymore. I'm not growing at a doubling rate. I'm tripling. Eventually, after tripling for some amount of time, I end up 81 times bigger than I am right now. So how long did it take me to get to there? 3, 9, 27, 81. So it took me four steps, if you like. So therefore, this is 4. This is a log equation, a logarithmic equation. I could do the same thing I did before and rewrite it in reverse order. I can rewrite it without any logs, but just as an exponential equation. How would I do it? How do I shuffle things around? The bases stay the same. In fact, we call these guys bases, right? So the base there will be the base here. 3 to the power of... Four, it's that guy. He's kind of swap places. That's going to be 81, which of course your calculator can verify. Okay. 